So our goal today is to get my computer to recognize the CP2102 as a serial to UART device and looking at the schematic the only thing I need for that actually is the 3.3 volt regulator and the MOSFET and of course also some capacitors. I'm not going to solder the LEDs yet um, for, for this test they're useless. So the only thing we need is the 3.3 volt regulator and the MOSFET. Let's start with the MOSFET. The MOSFET is the FDN 340P, that's a PMP MOSFET. And just because I can, I'm going to do this under the microscope so you can have a better look at what I'm doing. So there's the MOSFET. And of course it's upside down. They always land upside down. Let me flip them over. There we go. And let's first tin one of the pads. Actually, let's first turn on the soldering iron. By the way, I have the Flexi Friend from Brian Locke, and uh, it works great. It heats up very quick. Now, my power supply is capable of doing 20 volts at the recommended amperage, so that will probably make a difference. But yeah, it works great with the very flexible cable. All right, let's tin one of the pads first. I should actually turn the board, but probably can do it like this. There we go, to the other pins. I need to press it down a bit because it's floating. There we go, to the other pin. To the top pin again. And U1, our 3.3 volt regulator, is this LM1117 and of course the 3.3 volt version. That's that one. So let's tin. The big pad first. There we go, do the other pins. And flow some more solder on the top pad. There we go. Now which capacitors do I need? I need C1 and I might as well also do C4 and C5. So those are two tantalum capacitors and one regular MLCC capacitor. Now on a tantalum capacitor there's also a marking because a tantalum capacitor is polarized. Um, but unlike with a diode where the K 
cathode is marked with a stripe. On a tantalum capacitor, the anode is marked with a stripe. So keep that in mind. And the other one was C4. Let's find where that is. Oh, that's over there. And we also need a 100 nanofarad capacitor, and that is C5. Alright, that should be it. Now here's a question. Do I dare to plug this into my computer without having checked it with some external power supply which is current regulated? Well, yes I do because my laptop is also current regulated to 500 milliamps and if it detects a short it will short down the port. And there's also a fuse so I think we're pretty safe. So. Let's plug this in for the first time and see what happens. Well, nothing happened. And that's a good thing. Nothing is getting warm. That's also a good thing. Let's see if it shows up as a USB to serial port. And it does. Success. At least the first success. So the next step, and I'm going to do that in the next video, is the 12 volt circuitry and also the 5 volt circuitry and then going into the 3.3 volt regulator etc. But this bit of the circuit which takes in 12 volt. I'm going to do that in the next video. I have the parts so that video should be up pretty soon. Thanks for now. And see you next time. Bye.